Ekstrom has not stopped yet. Timo Glock and uh, Gary Paffett. So we're on board with uh, Gary Paffett then. Inside here is the Mercedes as he chases down Timo Glock. There's under 20 minutes plus one lap of the race remaining. Now Timo Glock is vulnerable. Gary Paffett's DRS window open. Glock cannot use DRS to defend. He's not within a second of anyone. It's a real fight now. Parabolica, here comes Gary Paffett. So look at this, it's down to under. Five tenths between the two of them. Gary Paffett now, is he gonna go inside, outside? Glock goes to the inside, Paffett around the outside. Glock stays with him though. They outbreak, going towards the hairpin. Glock will now try and make the car as wide as possible, but Gary has got on the inside now. He needs to redeploy DRS to give him the slip through this turn, which becomes the inside for the next one. The overtake is done, job done. Oh, 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 oh that was so close. There now he here comes back. Glock. He's coming back at him now because of course he's got DRS, so Gary needs to stick his elbows out, and he does. Oh, oh my goodness me. I mean, talk about defend. He really defended that. I mean, he's, he's entitled to do that, isn't he? Here comes Glock. He ain't giving up this fight. Gary desperately trying to break the DRS window. What he needs to do, it can't be five tenths. He needs to get it up to a second. The margin between the two of them. And at the moment, Glock is still within that DRS window. Let's look again. Let's look again. So you say you think this was a mistake. I'm sorry, Ricky Collard. I don't see any evidence of a lock up there. Round two. We've only got 16 minutes plus a lap. Goodness me. Like yesterday, the drama unfolds in front of us. It is DTM 2018. Here comes Timo Glock to the inside now of Gary Paffett. And surely he will... Uh... Well, look at this as Gary Paffett gets the momentum off the back of the hairpin. How on earth did he do that? But he's got DRS as well, so here we go. Another round coming up. Inside, outside, inside. Now Glock will try and switch to the inside and get underneath Gary now. Gary once again uses the middle of the track by uh, metaphorically sticking his elbows out. I'll tell you what, Timo Glock is fighting like never before. Two old stalwarts of racing here doing a fantastic job and providing such great entertainment for us. Here comes another round. Oh, brilliant. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Clean fight though, please, boys. Clean fight. And here he comes again. He's going to go to the outside. Oh, there oh, is contact touching. between the two of them this time. And Gary now. Glock with the uh, inside. He needs to keep his foot in because this is the outside, actually, of this turn. But it becomes the inside for the next one. So Glock, presumably, as he runs Gary right out to the curbs. And that's to be expected, this fight between the two of them. It's extraordinary. Look at this, a little touch between the two of them. The back end of uh, Glock's car just... Uh, Splitting out there. Epic. Absolutely oh, epic. Brilliant. I can hear the crowd inside. They are loving this fight at the front. Well, let's see this. Look at them. I mean, awesome. it could not be closer, could it? Oh, and look at the crowd. You're absolutely right. They're loving it, aren't they? Absolutely loving this fight. Gary Pappett now on the inside through uh, turn number seven and Gary Paffett goes ahead here comes Timo Glock all the way around the outside no this is phenomenal so they are trading places lap after lap for now Paffett has gone back in front but now look how vulnerable Gary is going to become with only two laps of DRS left you cannot uh, you cannot not be absolutely enthralled by this uh, racing here comes Glock, stealth-like, on the back of Gary Paffett, to the inside goes Timo Glock now, Gary Paffett out wide, he'll try and come underneath Timo Glock now, but this time, it's Timo's turn. Here comes Paffett then, who does still have uh, two laps of DRS availability to him, Timo Glock will try and make the all-yellow BMW as wide as possible. Paffett and Glock, side by side, again, whoa! And again, to the inside now goes Gary Paffett. They are each and every turn, turns where normally overtaking does not happen. They are trying. This is brilliant racing side by side from the both of them. Wow, and Gary
Gary just out onto the Astro, but maintains the speed and out breaks going into that turn. Through the sax curve and uh, Timo Glock, well, he continues to hold on and just stays in front of Gary Paffett. This is going to be Gary's last chance. This Gary. is the last lap, is it, of, of DRS use? Here he goes, inside so, or outside. He's going to be vulnerable, isn't he? Right to the outside of Timo. Timo runs him as wide as he dares. Gary will try and come underneath now, but Joel Eriksson... Uh, Gary here is going to have to attack and, and, and potentially also defend as well. Look at this, he inches uh, past Timo Glock. Does get past him going into the next turn, but Glock comes back on the inside. And Joel Eriksson is saying, come on you two, keep fighting like this because I want to buy into this battle. Here we go, in replay, Ricky, look at this. As you said, you know, the, the respect between these two drivers, I mean, it's been one of the hardest fights. Look, people are jumping out of their seats. They cannot, cannot believe it. And heads in hands because it is so exciting. Let's that see the reaction enough. between himself and Gary Barrett. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, that was two absolute masters racing together, Ricky. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And look at the and respect. And the respect between them is, well, it's almost eye-watering to see. Because